All right, welcome back to another episode of Logic Labs. My name is Bill Great. It will go and to two times one, two times this, all the way to fifty. So that's basically what my code does. All if right. there are any errors, I'll give you two chances to correct them. What are you doing here? I don't know why, but it takes it as a strain. Yes. <laughs> you are not serious. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Logic Labs. My name is Bill Greatness, and today I am your host with my special gentleman, Josiah. We are at Greater High School, West Fijai, Takwari. So for today, Josiah's project is to create a timetable such that when the user enters any number, it will display the timetable from 1 to 50. So for example, if the user enters 2, he should get the timetable for 212 all the way to 2 times 50. And the code should be dynamic such that if I enter any other number, I should get the same thing. So I'll project his thing. So I'll help you with the, uh, the project again. So write a program that asks a user to enter a number and display the multiplication table from 1 to 50, right? Okay, so you can get started. You have exactly five minutes to start. Oh, sorry, to complete. Let's go. Would you like for me to make a commentary? Yes, yes, All right. The commentary will be nice. It will be nice. All right, so he said, he said I have to create a commentary for that. So. He's created a variable called num and he's assigned it to a user's input with a prompt enter a number. And he's stuck. All right. <laughs> and then he's creating, a, he's iterating through the range function. So range starting from one ending at 51. All right. I think he has to do his explanation himself. <laughs> I hope you are paying attention. All right. If he gets it right, then that's okay. If he doesn't, then can it? You see? Okay, so explain, explain what you've done. So num is equal to in input um, enter a number. Which, if we run this, this will make the user or the person who runs the code enter a number. And this code here, this code here, I guess, like the number it enters. For x in the range 1 to 51. So to start from 1, end at 50, even though it's 51. So the 1 to 51 is um, a loop to actually make the 1 to 51 as the question. So when I do print the num, so the number that the number that the user enters times the x which is from the 1 to the 50 equal to the x times the num so the x times num is equal is when the x is actually like let me start the x is 1 so 1 times maybe the person enters 2 so 1 times 2 is to give you 2 then you should go to the next one 1 times 3 1 times 4 1 times this one times that, one times this. Any number that the user enters. And also, 
it will go to two times one, two times this, all the way to 50. So that's basically what my code does. All right. So syntactically, the code, the code looks clean and right and everything. So I'll put it to a test. If there are any errors, I'll give you two chances to correct them. Right. And if there are no errors, then since you wrote a perfect code. So I'm going to run the code to see. And then, so I'll open up my editor again. Then pi, then this is project two. So project two dot pi. Enter a number, I enter five. So when I enter five, which means I should get the multiplication table from five to 50. So exactly as I got it. Give it up for me. All right, so some things to add. <clears throat> Not really. What are you doing here? You do int and then you do input. Then, when you enter a number, it's an input. I don't know why, but it takes it as a string. Yes. So you must turn it into an integer. All right, so. okay, that's correct. So he's casting it from a normal string to an integer. So what happens is when you use the input function, okay, by default, it, can you see? Look at my, look at the thing. You see, by default, it returns a string, right? So by default, it returns a string. So you have to cast it to a different data type, right there. So that is correct. I'll run your code for the last time. I, any number that you want to see it multiplication table? What? 48. All right, so I'll run the project again. You need a 48 times table. And that is as you, you had, what? You are not serious. <laughs> All right, so give it up for desire, and I'll see you in the next one.